guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are diving into Squid Game Part 2. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into more Squid Game episodes. I gotta say, right off the bat, this show has been so hard to avoid spoilers for. I haven't heard anything yet, nothing has been spoiled for me yet, um, but I, I watch a lot of content over here on YouTube. This is definitely my favorite platform to enjoy content on. I mean, I've loved YouTube for so much of my life and I feel like every content creator I'm watching right now will not stop talking about Squid Game and it's really freaking me out because I'll click on a video and they'll mention it and I'll have to click right off. And it's been a challenge uh, to avoid hearing people talk about this show. Even if they're not about to say something spoilery, I get nervous and I just click off regardless. So this has definitely been a really intense show to have to avoid hearing people talk about it because it seems like everybody is assuming on the internet that everyone has already seen it. And maybe, who knows, maybe I'm the last one in the world to watch this show, but it is really challenging because everybody just wants to talk about it. Um, even my mom texts me on the daily asking how far along I am because she wants to talk to me about it. So <laughs> this has definitely been a really challenging show uh, to avoid hearing people talking about it. I'm really liking it a lot so far. We're only three episodes in, but I'm really enjoying the art style, the sound design, the acting. I'm really enjoying the way that it's formatted with how we were introduced to the characters. And all in all, just the idea that there's this life or death game being played with children's games is such a morbid and fascinating tactic to take when it came to writing this show. I think it's really interesting. I, I feel like I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely a very unique concept for a show and so I'm really enjoying that. There's something really creepy about the idea of this really wealthy man behind the scenes playing these people like they're puppets and making them play these children's games and if they mess up they die. Like there's something so intense about that and it's like he's making them dance for this money because he knows that they're gonna do that because the situations that they're in in life, they're desperate. They need all the help they can get and money could actually drastically improve their lives. Um, it's just so morbid and messed up. And then the fact that the art style is so colorful in this facility and a lot of classical music or even upbeat music is used at times is really interesting. It makes me feel kind of guilty as a viewer for like enjoying this show because you know, these, I, obviously it's fictional, right? But just the idea that I'm enjoying this show, I feel like the creepy guy who's pulling strings behind the scenes because I'm I'm rooting for people not to die and I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat every time they play a game. So it's kind of messed up and I kind of see why it hooked so many people in and why so many people are talking about it. I'm definitely curious to see where it goes from here, but you know, so far we're only three episodes in, so I don't wanna to talk too much. All I'll say is, you know, if you like this show a lot and these condensed episodes aren't enough for you over here on YouTube, definitely make sure to go to my description bar below and click my link to Patreon. That's where I post my full length reactions to these episodes. You just need your own copy to sync up along with me. Um, so they're posted in a watch along style format over there if you're interested. But that's pretty much all I have for this intro, guys. I'm excited to just see what happens in the rest of this show. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Oh, yeah, this guy. 111, that's his number. Ooh, that's a cool number, 111. Oh, I wouldn't be alive if I hadn't copied you. Oh, this old man's totally gonna die one day, you guys, and it's gonna break my heart even though like he would die anyway out in the real world of his tumor he's just so cute <laughs> yeah, i think he's a little suspicious it's not like you knew right huh i think i think he is a little suspicious oh they're getting eggs this morning and fizzy water what is with the the with these are like really interesting breakfast choices and they get one egg like it's really not a lot <laughs> where are they all cutting her did they just get back in line? Yeah. 
Other people cut them, yeah. It's the last five people. He's such a piece of work. I'm okay with this guy dying, to be honest. But he probably won't, because he's like a real antagonist kind of figure in this, in, in this, like, group of people. You know, what makes it really even more disturbing is the fact that the guys in red don't intervene. Like, they're letting this play out, because it's like, part of, probably part of the entertainment. Is he? He's not dead, is he? No. Did he just kill him? Really? They're really just doing nothing. This is so crazy. And then it's and then more money's just gonna come in. Like it makes up for it. It's so creepy. With like the arcade music along with it, like the arcade noises. Like that's how much his life was worth. Ugh. That's so creepy when it's one person, you know? As opposed to all uh, like a larger group. Oh. Oh no! Dude, you don't know what it's like to even be a circle, let alone a square. Really? Don't you think they're gonna notice that that a square is missing? Or not that a square is missing, that there's an added square when one of them died? Don't you think someone's gonna notice? Man, this guy needs a rule book so he knows what he's doing. Ew! Is this guy a surgeon? I mean, he's covered in blood. Is he harvesting organs? Oh. She's a good recruit. She's a good one to recruit. But she probably likes to work alone, yeah. It's nice that he's doing this to her even though she pickpocketed from him. Her hair is so pretty, I'm obsessed. I miss my bangs. <laughs> I struggle every day going back and forth on whether or not I should grow keep growing my bangs out, but I know it's such a pain in the ass to, if I cut them again, it would take forever to grow them more again. <sighs> it has to do with the eggs. Wow, they really like giving these little clues. <laughs> Oh, the night. Oh, no. They know a fight will break out. Wow. Oh, my God. They are being manipulative intentionally. This is so f***ed up. Wow. How did they do that? How did they get that in there? Did they slap? How did they do that? Actually, how did they do that? What, did you put it inside the chicken? Like, what did you... <laughs> When it was laying eggs, like, I don't get, how did they do that? <laughs> it doesn't make sense with the shell on. I don't get it. Oh my God. Oh, well, look at her. She's such a tough cookie now. All you did was bring in a lighter, ma'am. Oh, is he telling him what tomorrow's game is? Ooh. I can't believe a fight's gonna break out tonight and they know that they started that. And they're, oh, they're making the space for him. Oh my God, look, he really moved up the ranks just by changing his face shield. I hope you know what you're doing, man. I'm really surprised with all these rules and all these restrictions that nobody noticed that, you know, there's an extra guy with a square face shield on when one of them was killed. I guess there's they knew there'd be a fight because when they didn't stop the one guy dying, these guys figured out, oh, we can kill people and not get in trouble, so it'll lower the competition a bit. Oh no, not this girl, oh no. <laughs> what a painful way to go with a glass bottle. Oh my God, what are they gonna do? They're just gonna stand out there? Oh my God, the lights are flickering. That's terrifying. <laughs> They're pushing over bunk beds. <laughs> Come on, girl, come on. Yeah, she is a knife, come on. Yes, get him, He deserves it. Oh no, oh no, who's gonna save her? Oh no, she did it, okay. She's resourceful. Honestly, I would have stayed hidden in the bunk bed. No one was looking for you there. Is that saying woo, helping out? That's good, at least he saved him that time. Oh no, is he in his bed still? No, he's not. Oh God, where is he? Oh, where is the old man? Oh no, oh no, there's blood in his bed. Oh, where is he? Is he hiding somewhere? I really hope he's just hiding somewhere okay. Uh-oh. He saved her, oh my God, oh my God. Oh no, she got hit on the head. Oh, oh God, oh yes, dude. Wow, he got a real weapon. Come on here. Oh. I'm scared, oh no, yeah. Are they all listening to him? He's right. Game Jong-yo. And the game. I can't, was this a game? Was this a game all along? I can't imagine that it was. It really should count, because this is so f***ed up. <gasps> yeah, he knew he could talk to 456. Is he gonna recognize his voice? If he does, that's insane. Because my memory is f I wouldn't. I'm so happy this guy survived. He looks f***ing wrecked though. He looks distraught. Exchange names, oh. Oh, now he's probably curious. He's probably looking for a Wong. Kang Sebyeok. Sebyeok. Sebyeok, yeah. That was her name. Wait, why? What does it mean? Why doesn't it suit her? 
I feel like the tumor is really catching up with him. I feel like he's losing it. No, it's the tumor. It's caught up. It caught up with him. Oh, this is so sad. This is a sad way to go, man. I, I think he'd turn on you in a second, honey. I don't think you can trust a guy like this. I think that I think he's gonna be her downfall. What what happens if he betrays you and you instantly die? Maybe she actually will get him. I don't know. We'll see. She's she's definitely smarter than she seems, you know? She seems kind of like cocky and stupid. I think she is cocky and a little arrogant, but she also she also is smart, you know? Like She's got street smarts, I think. Whoa, this room is all white. Oh, of course it's a team game now. Oh, teams of 10. Oh, and they're gonna have the old guy on their team and he's not in, a, in good shape right now. Oh, I'm concerned. This is so manipulative, making them play in teams after they've spent a whole night fighting. We have an el and a woman. She's a fast woman though. Look at her just sitting there like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> this sex is garbage. <laughs> I mean, if it's a strength game, he's right. It's just annoying. I have to stick with my wife. Oh, they're both here. Oh, no. Oh. We have one woman on our team. God, that sucks. That's so rude. Oh, I feel bad for this couple. Oh, I feel bad for them. Oh, they're gonna die. Oh, just because they're in love, you know? Ugh. She's gonna recruit a girl. Look at her. She's totally gonna recruit a girl. But I bet it's gonna be useful to have women. Oh, look, she's being abandoned. Uh huh. Uh huh. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait two seconds to turn his back on her. You put out for nothing, girl. He's not your babe. He's a f jerk. Oh, you're bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nice! I don't want her to die yet because she's I really want her to get revenge on this asshole. I hope she survives this game. <laughs> yes, look at these girls. They're gonna be besties. <laughs> I like that she went and recruited a girl anyway because you never know. Also, if it's about speed, sometimes women are faster than men. That's not always. And she's a young girl like she could be really agile or flexible. Like I don't know what the game is, but oh, he didn't. Oh no, they're one short. How are they one short? There's got to be a 10th person you need. <gasps> oh her, oh my god. Except for the things I'm not good at. I'm good at everything except for the things I'm not. <laughs> uh, she really is so grating and annoying, but I kind of love her. No, you're not playing here. Oh boy, this was just the waiting room. Oh god. Tug of Oh no, they're Oh, they can't be fucked though. This team has like all of the most notable characters on it. Is she, this little girl must be really strong. She doesn't even look phased. Oh, are they gonna have to face off with team asshole? Please don't, please don't. Okay, team one is team asshole, got it. Oh, please don't face off with my team. Oh, they're handcuffed to the rope so they can't let go. Oh, this is so stress inducing, man. I'm so stressed out. Even though I know who's gonna win. Also, it's really just insane that they're put in like these vans to do, to play this game. It's like not a great athletic shoe, in my opinion. There's no tread. Oh no. Wait, we didn't even hear a thud. Where did they fall to? I thought there was ground below. Did we just not hear it? Oh, they're down there. Oh my God. Wow, the way this was shot is so cool. I love the cinematography for this episode a lot and for the whole show, but like this episode has been really cool. Four, oh no, please face off against another team that's weaker. Oh, no. oh there's a lot of men. Oh no, oh no. How are they gonna do this? God, I'm so nervous, even though I know there's no way all these guys can die. Like, it's literally all the people I'm invested in. It's all the characters that we know, except for the asshole guy and the doctor. You can win with just strategy and teamwork. I mean, I know you gotta have like somebody strong on the back end. I know that's really important. Person gets close to the face of the op opposition's leader and the rest of the team looks at the leader's back. If the leader seems weak or dispirited, then the game is already over. Got it. Smart. That's smart. At the end of the rope, you put your strongest person. Ali. An anchor, yes, an anchor, exactly. I figured Ali was the strongest. How you place people is also important. One left, one right, alternate with the rope in the middle, right? 
Place both feet parallel to each other. Wow, he's really smart. He knows so much about this. This guy's got so much wisdom, you know? I love that he's like the MVP, you know? For 10 seconds, you just have to hold out. You should practically lie down. Push your lower abdomen up to the sky and bend your head way back, right, using weight so that you almost see the groin of the person behind you. It's almost impossible to get pulled in then. Oh, look at him smiling. He's always smiling, man. Hold out for just 10 seconds like that. The opposition will get frustrated and think, why won't they even budge? Yes, look at this strategy. All from an old man who we don't even know his name. Come on, you got it. Look at them all in rhythm together. I feel bad rooting for other people to die this way though. This is what I mean by this show is kind of really messed up because you start rooting for people to die and it's intense. Oh no. Come on guys. Come on guys, you can do it. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> He's right. You do you it's you juke him out to make him trip. That is a tri that is a tactic. I've done a lot of color wars. Oh god. Oh my god. I have literal goosebumps. I wish I could show you guys, but like I don't know if the camera would pick up my goosebumps right now. I ho oh my what a way to end an episode. Oh my God, he's literally right on the edge. He's got one foot. Pull! Yep, yeah, pull, go, 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 go. Oh, this is so messed up. I'm rooting for these other guys to die. I know, Coda, it's messed up. This is a messed up show. I understand why you don't want to be here. Mother, you have become a monster. Oh my God, they make them hold them there? That's insane. Make them hold them there the whole time until that guillotine comes down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at him smiling. He's always smiling. And they're all laughing about it. Uh, well, they're probably shocked to see these guys here. Oh, she gonna kill him. <laughs> if looks could kill, man. Why are these all covered in bows? Like presents. Is that, are they supposed to look like presents? Or is that just like a thing in South Korea that like caskets come with bows like that on them? Wait, do they do that to make it look like they're burning the caskets, but they're actually not? What is happening here? What is this operation? Yeah, they did know what game was next. Oh, that's true. I forgot they knew. They had the doctor. Oh, another fight. Can't we just let them sleep? Make it tougher for them to get through. That's a smart idea. Oh, they're all copying them. Man, doing this whole team thing halfway in really like isolates them. It's more of a mind game than anything. It really like, this manipulation is just is so insane. The guys in red, I mean, like the puppet masters. <laughs> exactly. No, you don't. Oh, he's turning him on his own team. He's making him lose it. Ooh, ki spitting some truths. Ooh, look at that mind f***ery he just pulled. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get nervous about the doc, huh? Because the doc always leaves for a mysteriously long amount of time. Is this our detective? Or maybe not, I don't know. No, I don't think it is, no. Are they hiding that from the boss? Are they using the doc and like hiding the fact that they're helping him from the guy in black? Why didn't you show up? I had to stop the others from killing you. They don't trust you. Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh my God, are they coming down here? Are they delivering organs? What is this? Is that why they didn't, they don't kill them all? Like, is that why they're trying to leave some of them alive? Because it keeps the organs alive longer? Oh, he killed someone through negligence? Is that what happened? Did he get sued? What? Oh, he's having a, he's having PTSD. Is he having like a, a PTSD moment? Is this part of his experience? What was he reliving? Yeah, what, what happened in his past? Oh, that was a strike. Oh, and then I bet his, I wonder if they were ever married, him and his baby mama. I wonder if they were ever. It's almost like the tug of war sent him back there, you know? It's like he, something traumatic got triggered in him during that tug of war match. Oh God, is he, does he have to go all by himself? Oh no. Maybe not. So they're going out to a ship. I wonder if 
The ship's meet. Oh, the ship is meeting at the island. Oh, okay, I see. It's interesting that they're wiping this stuff from the camera footage too. Like, I wonder if the guy in black is coordinating all this, or if they're all. He must be, right? Really? Uh oh. Oh, I doubt they will. Oh boy. Oh my god. A bomb? It's interesting that he's explaining that to him now, even though theoretically he would have explained this to him already, you know, since this is number 29, like they all think he's been here. It, it's just so... So does that mean nobody's gonna win this? Like this is all just a hoax to harvest organs? Oh no, he knew the whole time, okay. I had a feeling, I mean, he was doing such a bad job of acting like he belonged there, because how could he do a good job? Oh, he got a gun out so stealthily. Look at him. Oh, God, he's about to die on this playground, which is a terrifying way to go. Oh, yeah, they're definitely doing this harvesting thing, I think, in secret. I don't know. It's a huge problem if a player goes missing, really? Oh, yeah, okay, I guess, I guess this is a secret operation. Like, the guy in black maybe doesn't know about it. Oh no, he's about to stab him. Ah! Who shot him? <gasps> this is crazy. Yeah, you can't keep, you can't let him live. I, uh, man, this detective going rogue though, he's really committing like some crimes. You've ruined the most crucial element. Equality. Everyone is equal. Yeah, by giving the doctor an advantage. Ah, oh. For a second I thought he was going to be allowed to live, but nope, okay. So many people be dying in this show, man. How is my dude gonna get out of here? Once he finds his information, I'm concerned. Oh wow, there's so many files. They've been playing it for so long. Oh my god. Do they play it more than one time a year? Or is it just that's how many details and info and players they have? I also remembered like this, this little box. This looks a lot like the box that, you know, 456 uh, Gi-hun gave to his daughter, which looks a lot like all the Coffins are being, you know, held in. It's crazy. The art style is so cohesive. It really makes you think. Yo. He found his brother. So he won in 2015? But that's so crazy. He won in 2015, but then like, how long has his brother been missing? I thought his brother only went missing recently. This shit just keeps getting crazier and crazier, the amount of stuff that's going on. What are they doing? What was the point of this? Oh, he's pissing himself. Oh no, poor me. Oh right, they got pulled out of bed. Right, they got pulled out of bed for this. I forgot, he wet the bed. Oh, oh, that's so nice of him. It's gonna break my heart when this guy dies and we haven't even learned his name. I'm really worried that this old man is gonna die in this game. He's just falling apart. <laughs> Uh, it's really morbid. With this classical music and this colorful art design, it's just insane, man. We will make sure no trace of it remains by the time the VIPs arrive. VIPs. So he's not a VIP. Holy <laughs> Who are the VIPs? What the f*** is going on? I feel like this whole thing is a setup. Like, all these people are being killed and, like, the people who make it to the end aren't even going to be winning any money. Like, why do I feel like it's going to turn into this horrible situation where everybody gets screwed and they try to destroy the island and set the VIPs free? At least I think that's what maybe they're planning to do. I don't think that will be exactly what happens, but... Oh, you have a partner. Oh god, that's terrifying. You don't know what kind of game it's going to be either. Like is it where one of your par the part one of the teams get eliminated? Like is it if your partner's bad, you both get eliminated or is it like 50-50 like one of the partners will be eliminated, you know? The you know the old man number 1 has really proven himself useful. I just worry that he's falling apart and losing it cuz he can't he doesn't know his name anymore, you know? Like but he also knew all the helpful info about tug of war. I know. They're only th oh no, so oh no. 
that's not fair at all. Oh no, he's gonna pair up with the old man. He's gonna pair up with him. He's, he is gonna pair up with him. He is gonna pair up with him. That's He's such a good guy, you know? Like, it's interesting because we started off this series seeing how flawed this character was with his gambling addiction and stealing his mom's money and just kind of being a mess. Um, and now we're really seeing what a good guy Gihun is and how often he's stuck up for this older guy and just really, you know, he just has such good morals when it comes down to his core, you know? You didn't tell me that. Oh, is she alone? Oh, wow. Is she gonna go out like this? Oh, wow, this couple made it. They survived, this wife and husband. Is she gonna go out like this? Oh my God, this shot is so cinematically beautiful. Oh my God, are they gonna kill her? They can't kill her for this. This is f***ed up. There wasn't an even number. This is insane. Oh no, are they they're taking her away alive? I do feel bad for her because that is just genuinely not fair. I can't imagine they're gonna kill her like right away. She's such an interesting character to watch, you know? Oh my god, how terrifying would it be if like these pairs get split and like half of the pairs have to die? Because then what if Ali dies and I'll be really devastated if he does? Okay. Okay, his brain is still with it. He's got it, I think. Uh-huh. Ganbu? I'm already so nervous. Oh, a pinky promise, yeah. Aww. It is against their partner. It is against the partner. <laughs> no, we don't know they're married. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I'm not gonna be okay! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh. Ali! No! No! Can Sang Wu die? I like Ali so much! No! This man, he's gonna die! Oh no! Can they do a Hunger Games moment like what Peta and Katniss did where they just protest and they both win by default? I know that that really won't work in this scenario, but I would like that very much. Oh, I'm a wreck. Oh God, the, the married couple wrecked me more than anything. Oh my God. Could you imagine being with your partner and being put in that scenario? Oh God. Yeah, it does. Oh, Ali's probably gonna sacrifice himself because he's so he respects Sangwoo so much. Oh, he doesn't even know what otter even means. Oh my god. What's happening with him? He just lost it. Just make him sit down. No. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, Kyun. This poor man, he's always down to the wire with these games. Yeah. Oh. This this girl with the nose ring is totally going to die, but I'm really sad about it too. 어차피 우리 중에 하나는 여기서 죽어. 서로 무슨 얘기를 하든 다시 얼굴 보고 민망할 일은 없잖아. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I am not okay right now, you guys. This is so sad. 이렇게 되면 저는 있는 그냥 기권한 거 아닙니까? 게임을 할 수가 없잖아요. 예? They don't care, damn it. Just make him play the bet the marbles with you. Okay, okay, oh god. It's gotta be killing him, you know? It's gotta be breaking Giyun's heart. Because he probably he doesn't want to kill this guy, but it's like his only chance. Job. Is it right? It's oh it's wrong, it was odd, isn't it? Oh, Ali, Ali feels so bad, and you can just tell. You can just tell it's killing him, you know? Does he only have one marble left? He's got one left. Oh. Is Ali actually going to make it, and is Sang Woo going to die? This is so sad, because Ali, like, Sang Woo has helped Ali a lot. This is so sad. It's just pitting people against each other who've been trusting each other for so long. It makes me really sad. I want to see the husband and wife duo play at least once. It'll break my heart, but I want to see it, because I'm sadistic. That's why she's been lying to her brother.
Oh no. Oh no. He did a big bet. Oh god. Why does Gihun always have to be down to the wire? You know? 동생이랑 같이 지낼 집 하나 구하고 북에 있는 엄마 데리고 와야지. 야. 400억이면 그런 거 하고도 남아. That's all she wants though. She just wants to be with her family and have, be safe out of North Korea, you know? I didn't realize that public officers in China would send you back to North Korea if you escaped. That's so messed up. 뭐 하이, 아니 몰디브 정도는 가줘야지. 뭐 있도도 한잔 하고. No. 뭐 있도? <laughs> she doesn't know what a mojito is? This is so sad because like they could be friends in life, you know, but they can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this episode is absolutely wrecking me. I am not okay. <laughs> oh, really? But so will his. So will his. He is a family too. That's not true. Begging him, he's trying to manipulate him to help him. Don't, don't fall for it, Ali. Oh god, Ali, no. Oh god, is it odd? It's odd, isn't it? It's odd, it's odd, it's odd, it's odd. F**k. F**k. Gi-hun, man, you stress me out every game. He's gonna make a comeback because there's no way this guy's dying in the sixth episode. Um, maybe. You're you you might be wrong. I don't think that that's true. You're just assuming you could both be killed. Of course he doesn't. Oh god, I don't blame Sangwoo for trying to manipulate him though because he's desperate. He wants to live. I would do the same thing. It is it's got to be even. Yeah, he just wants to look slowly probably. Oh. Oh, we changed it. What? Oh, he doesn't remember what he said. Is he gonna lie to him? And, they, and obviously, you can make whatever rules you want, so the guys in pink don't care if you're cheating. As long as you're cheating within, like, the constructs of this facility and, like, not with, like, something you snuck in, like, so that it's fair. Oh, he's lying. Wow, Ki-hun. I don't blame him for lying. I'm just... This man is always stressfully making it down to the wire. That no, uh uh, no, no, Ali, oh no. I feel like Ali's gonna get tricked and get killed. He's gonna win, because of course he's gonna win. Oh, he has one left. Oh, wait, what if he hits, what if 278 hits Jackass's marble in? Like he knocks it in. I bet that's what he's gonna do. It's further, it's gonna get stopped by that little pebble. Oh, he is gonna knock his in. He's swapping the bags. Ali, did he, what did he do? I know he swapped the bags, but how many are in there? There's definitely marbles in there, but it just sounds like he definitely swapped them though. I actually don't know. I didn't hear what he said. Is, is Gi-hun telling the truth or lying to him? It's so sad, he can manipulate him. This has gotta be breaking Gi-hun's heart too, you know? It's like you wanna survive, but also he formed a bond with this man. They became friends and he's... <laughs> <laughs> this show is so messed up, man. Did he take all the marble? I, I don't know how he would have done that. I don't know what he would have put in Ollie's bag. Wait, he has all the marbles. What's in Ollie's bag then? <laughs> oh, he was supposed to hide it. <sighs> oh God, this is so sad. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh my God, I'm a mess. The acting in this scene is so good too, it's killing me. Sangwoo, you piece of shit, man, I hate you. They're accepting it, is he accepting it? Oh my God, it's so f***ed up, it's so, 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 so f***ed up. And no one's gonna know about that except for Sangwoo. It makes sense, he's a fraudulent guy, you know, he's committed so much fraud. It makes sense that he would resort to it and is to survive, but it's just, Ali deserves better. Oh god, this whole episode has just been me f***ing bawling my eyes out. 
Oh, oh God. Oh God, and he doesn't even know what's happening. He just is like, I wanna play more, you know? Oh. Oh, he has another one? Of course he does. You put me through that emotional roller coaster. Gihun is always coming down to the wire. Oh, now he's doing this. The <laughs> She's probably like, you have a brother. You should go out there and live. She had no plans of what she was gonna do with her life. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like gonna go through this whole box of tissues right now. This is so beautiful. The acting, I'm dying. <sighs> She still looks so stoic while crying. How did she do that? <laughs> oh, Holly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did he just put dirt in the bag? I don't know how he tricked him. It sounds like marbles. Oh, it's pebbles. I guess there's stones in here. I didn't know where their stones were. Oh. F you, Sangwoo. F you, man. Ali had a baby. Sangwoo doesn't have a kid i mean maybe he does but i don't think he does <laughs> oh my god oh god i'm literally using this entire box of tissues <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Has he just been like, whoa. He's been with it this whole time? He's just been pretending? Or did he just remember? <laughs> oh, he, he did remember the whole time. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, please let him say it. Please let him say it. Oh, oh Ilnam. Okay, good. I can't see it. Oh. I know I say it a lot, but like, I'm really not okay right now. I was so sad. And now I have to film an outro and I'm a mess. Well, um, I look a mess. <laughs> Just figured I'd film this outro right after finishing crying and I'm not gonna wait for my face to calm down. This is just, just the way it is. This is how worked up I get and this episode was devastating. This show is just so messed up. <laughs> oh God. I can't believe Ali went out like that. Just his nature, his trusting kind nature is what did it to him. And then to see, you know, those moments with, um, Oh, I know she just said her name, but the girl, the girl with Saibyok and uh, older man Ilnam, I think he said his name was, with Gihun. There's, uh, those scenes were just so beautifully written and so beautifully acted. I, I will admit, I'm a little upset that we didn't check in with like the married couple one time to see who survived. Like, I think that would have been really devastating just to throw that in there too. <laughs> but it's probably good for... Um, me that they didn't because I would have been crying even harder. <laughs> this show has definitely been a roller coaster of emotions. This is definitely the most that I've cried in any episode. The last few episodes were more suspenseful and more dramatic, especially with ending with the detective sneaking around the facility and trying to get information about his brother and the whole thing with the doctor. Um, there were a lot of high stakes and tension in the last episode and this one was just emotional. It really, this whole series really feels so perfectly crafted at this point. You never know what to expect. <laughs> I, I came into this one expecting to be nervous and like on the edge of my seat and anxiety ridden the whole time because that's how I'd felt for past episodes. And then instead I was just a weeping emotional mess. So 
I feel like I don't have much to say about the show that I haven't already said. I'm just really enjoying it. You know, the sound design, so brilliantly done because the music and rhythm will come in at certain moments, but then cut out very suddenly and we'll have these scenes of dialogue with nothing, with no sound underneath. And it's very suspenseful. And then in this episode, they really added in that sad music where in past episodes, when contestants were getting near the end of the game when the timer was ticking down. Usually the music would be classical or it would be upbeat and it would juxtapose this life or death situation that the contestants were in. But this one, it was sad, sentimental music because what's happening is all these people are saying goodbye who've bonded. And um, it's just so sad. I'm really glad I didn't read the log line for this episode now that I'm looking at it because it says players pair off for the fourth game. gi grapples with a moral dilemma. Sang-woo chooses self-preservation and sai Byuk shares her untold story. I would have been really annoyed if I read that logline um, because I would have found out like, oh, Sang-woo is going to survive and we're going to hear more about sai Byuk's story, which wouldn't have necessarily ruined anything, but I just liked how unexpected that moment was between those two girls. And that whole scene was so beautiful because it caught me off guard. And especially when she sacrificed herself for Saibyaka, it was just so sad. Oh God, I'm getting myself worked up again. I honestly don't know um, how you're gonna edit around all these nose blowings, Cameron. I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> I tell him to cut out all the nose blowing because I don't really like to keep it in the videos if I don't have to. But this one, I was crying so much. I really don't know how he's gonna do it. <laughs> uh, if you guys like the edits on these videos, which I'm sure you do because they're amazing, definitely make sure to go in the comments down below and give Cameron some love. He's incredible. Um, he makes these videos 10,000% better and uh, he deserves some love. So definitely make sure to go write some nice stuff about him in the comments down below. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I'm really interested to see what these final three episodes have in store. I'm interested to learn who the VIPs are. I'm wondering what happened to, uh, what's her name? I already forgot her name, but the annoying girl who didn't partner up in the beginning of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if we see her again and if she just hasn't been killed yet. Curious, of course, what's gonna happen with the detective and curious to see who makes it to the end. I really want Sai Byok to make it to the end, but I also want Ki Hun to survive. And I have this terrifying feeling that whoever wins won't, win the money and it'll only be allowed to be one person. I just, all the manipulation going on, I wouldn't be surprised if like everybody has to die and it's only one person and then they still don't give him the money or something. Because the detective is looking for his brother who was supposedly a winner in 2015 and I don't know why his brother is still missing. So <laughs> I don't know, it's interesting. There's a lot of questions still left unanswered and I'm really excited to see what answers we get. I hope they're doing a season two. So I would assume there'd be some cliffhangers as well, but. If not, if it's just one season, that's also really interesting. So find out soon enough, but I'm loving the show so far, despite how sad and messed up and morbid it is. <laughs> but for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.